What up, YouTube? What up, though? It's your boy, J.A. from Soul Rulers, coming at you with another cleaning tutorial. Last time I came at you with, I cleaned the Concord 11. Fresh from my trip to Chicago. I showed you how dusty it was. Boom. You see how clean it came. And I wore these as wet. Well. After the fact. But today... New day, new shoe. And today I'm coming at you with the Kanye 350 Boost Zebra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And so it's right here. Now, if I want to give you a close look at this easy. As you can see at the toe, very dirty, very dirty all around. You see the bottom, it's nasty. Show you the same the next. See how dirty it is. And then been through it. All right. So now that we see that, we're going with our first step. Normally be to take out the Shoe soles, second, the laces. I'm gonna get these laces on. And these are actually my pair of 350s. I was out with my friends one day, out and about. Thought we was gonna do like a mall run or something like that. We ended up doing some outdoor stuff. Running into some mud and stuff like that. And I'm uh, my Yeezys. But then I said, hey, it'd be a great vid. Clean these boys up, get them back brand new. I'll show you guys what they need to. Alright, so we're gonna get both laces out, both shoes. We already have our soles all as we said before. Fit these out the way. We're gonna take our shoe trees. I'm gonna insert it into both. Oh, this one seems to always pop on me. Nice and good, two trees in there. Now we have to fill up a bowl of water. I'll be right back. All right, back with my water. Nice warm bowl of water. Doesn't have to be too hot, but it's better warm than cold. Okay, I'm gonna have my cleaning, shoe cleaning solution, my three squirts in there. I have a second one that I like for my cloth shoes. I'm gonna add this one in as well. In there. And I'm going to start off left shoe first. So we'll set the right shoe to the side. First, we're going to start off with our soft bristle brush. Nice and soft. But you're going to get on those uppers real good. Nice circular motion on these club shoes. So get that deep dirt out. And you know, with the Kanye, it has a certain pattern. So you want to kind of follow the pattern. You don't want to go off pattern. This one kind of goes to the front, but this side kind of leads to the back. You know how the threading goes. Nice circle of motion on the line. And make sure you hit the entire upper of the shoe. Get the entire upper. Nice and so here. Uh, 
Now, if you watched my last video, you noticed on the Concords, I just did the uppers in the bottom. I didn't really worry about the inside. But since these Kanye's have a white inside, I'm gonna pop out my shoe tree. And while I'm cleaning with my soft brush, I'm gonna clean my insides as well. Then that 3M, all of that good stuff in that liner. I'm gonna get that liner back to white. Do that with your soft bristle brush and get it all in there. Line that rim. I can see it's coming clean already. didn't really show you how dirty this one was but on the other shoe I'll let you see that dirt and that ground that I'm talking about it's on the insides of the shoe focus on that and get that clean as well it really makes that shoe pop Next, we want to worry about the put up our soft. We're going to go to our medium. We're going to hit a little bit on that toe extra. You got to get a little extra on that toe where you said it was that extra dirt build up from that mud. But that got into the fabric real good. We're just going to hit the toe with the medium. Everything else, the soft brush should do the job. And we're also going to take our medium and we're going to hit our mid, so. We're going to clean off that mid, so. Get it back nice and creamy. stiff. Our stiff is going to take care of this bottom. But you see I got a lot of extra good. So I'm just going to take a pair of scissors. I'm just going to go in there and just pre-clean, shall I say, the boost area that has the dirt and the mud just trapped in there. Just going to scrape it out. Not too hard. You don't want to destroy your shoe. You do want to get the surface of that dang off to make it easier to work for the stiff bristle brush. So that's all this is. I'm going to hit every pot, loosen up that dirt. There we go, a little gum there on the bottom. So I've been 
break that off as well. Got a hand to kind of let it loose the peel. It'll do the same, just lightly. Lightly just scrape over it. You're not trying to clean it. You're just trying to bring up that dirt. And then we go to our stiff bristle. And we go to work. And from every angle, up, down, left, right, high, 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 high. you got to get in there to get into those pies. Kind of lift the brush up a little at an angle. You get those front teeth in there. Get real good. Scrub inside. Go up to that heel pot. See already, it's coming cleaner. Now, if you want to take it a step further for us, you so nice trick I can do. This is Salon Care 40. So, you be like, but I don't think this shit would need that. I think a good cleaning, throw it in a washer, I think we'll be back to the this. I'm just going to hit the side with the stick. As clean as possible. Also, I'm satisfied with that. All right, we set that to the side. We'll switch off to the right. Same steps. Repeat. Soft on the upper. Medium on the mid, stiff on the bottom. Make sure you're going forward. On the supply 350 side, you want to go in a forward circle. On the inside, a backward circle. You want to follow the knitting. Because you don't want to fray up that threading. And then that's why I also have the scissors and a lighter. Just in case you do that, you might have to cut and burn some of that thread off. But not today, we won't, because we're going to do it the right way. And pretty much the same thing, soft bristle brush. We're going to go to work on this entire upper as well as the inside. Now, before I do the inside of this shoe, I'm going to show you what I was talking about. You see how dirty the inside of that shoe is? See the dirt all around on the inside? So I say you want to make sure with your soft brush for brush, you take care of all of that. Now hit that rim all the way around. Very good. That 3M on the back, we're going to clean that. And we're also going to go inside. We're going to clean the inside as well. We're going to a full clean shoe. Not half stepping this time around. When you got a white shoe, can't really half step. Because the slightest blemish to show. And it's like, yeah, that shoe was clean. Did you see the inside? Oh, 
Uh, yeah, that shit was, it was clean up top. Did you see the bottom? What he been stepping in? <laughs> you know? So. Just gonna keep going to work on that. Three and make sure you flip that inside and get the back part of that because you know how that's hung. Alright, real quick, I'm just going to show you. You saw how dirty that rim was at first. You see now it's starting to come clean on that inside. Just like a little white scrub. With the soft bristle. Get it right back. We want all of that clean. All right, we want to insert our shoe tree once again. We're going to put down our saw, switch off to our medium, just like we did with the other side. We're going to let that medium just touch the front toe of that upper where I showed you that dirt was really caked in from the mud. So we're not gonna where we do the shoe with the mid, just that front toe one, where we get that deep clean, and then we jump to the mid side. And make sure you get that toe cap very good. That's very important to get that toe cap. All right, just like in the other shoe, have the nasty bottom. We're gonna take our knife, and break up as much dirt as we can in these parts. Nice and gentle. I'm not trying to destroy the shoe. I'm not trying to clean the shoe with the scissors. You know, I would like to say that again. I don't want no one doing this. And then you don't put a hole through your boots and got your socks wet. And you're like, well, hey, I seen J.A. do it on the video. Yeah. J.A. told you to be very gentle. Satisfied with that, we go back to our stiff. And then we'll be good. Second, this last time, we're going to make sure you go up, down, left, right, angles. The whole thing. We're going to get in there every way possible. And break up all the dirt. I see it. I got a little yellowing going on. So maybe I might have to do that trim. Let's see what my knife 
Let me see if there's something that will come out, come off, or is it embedded into the cell? might need the UV light for. That's just a small spot. And I hit the sticky one more time. Satisfied. We got our insoles. Let me take those. Soft bristle brush. Get those a good scrub. What's with that baby? So I know I'm gonna keep my insoles out. I don't know why. That's just something I always do. I get a new pair of shoes. First thing I do, I take the insoles out, put them in a the box. Then I try my shoes on. Okay, you got your laces. You just throw your laces in your bowl of solution. Stir that around. Kind of rub them together. Get a good soap going. I like to take my brushes and give it a little light stir up. It doesn't take a lot for the laces. All right. Now we have our sneaker laundry bag. We're gonna take them. We're gonna put our shoes into the laundry bag. With the shoe tree inside, please. Do not wash these shoes without that shoe tree still inside. All right, put the second shoe. Like I said on the last video, you wanna have the shoes inside the sneaker bag like you would in a shoe box. So heel to toe, heel to toe. All right, take my insole, slung them into this side. Laces, stuff them into the other side. Close up our bag. Make sure we lock it. I always like to put a little knot in there to make sure it doesn't open. Oh, just like in the shoe box. Laces in here. And so there. And off to the washing machine. See you in a minute.